The electroporation instruments from BTX are incredibly easy to use. The best starting point is btxonline.com, where there is a comprehensive protocol database. Searching by cell type and being as specific as you can will usually give you a selection of application notes, which make a great starting point. As a guideline, choosing the most recent or the last in line will give you the most up-to-date applications for that specific cell line. Once you get to the application note, you need to know the voltage, the pulse length, the number of pulses, and the electrode gap of the cuvette to have the starting point you need to program the instrument. All modern BTX instruments come with a list of common preset protocols, but if you are programming your own, then going into the user protocol, typing in a name using the QWERTY keyboard will allow you to set up the new program. From there, it's a matter of entering the parameters taken from the application note at the prompts of the instrument. BTX electroporators come with a range of different cell accessories, but in this case we're using the most simple, which is electroporation cuvette. After putting the cuvette in the holder, you need to press the ohm button, which does a quick pre-electroporation check, and assuming everything is okay, you press the big green button in the corner and the electroporation will take place. You will also get results appearing on the screen to ensure that your electroporation has operated within the parameters that you originally set.